Brian Evan Primary School is a school in South Africa, Johannesburg. We have been using Purple Mash for about two years. This is a lesson in which we explore some of the coding aspects with a grade three class. It's somewhat above what the normal grade threes would do. Surprisingly, most of the children managed to get to the final challenge of it. I'm Erin Bradley, a GDE teacher, enthusiastic about promoting coding. So welcome grade threes. Today's lesson is called Night and Day, and it's using a timer. You can see it's shown here in the to-do section, Night and Day. And we're using timers to explore a scene changing from night to day. So you will find your work in the to-do section. Now I'm going to show you, so I'm going to go launching app. You won't do it this way. You'll go to the to-do section. And the first one says make a timer that shows the sun after five seconds and changes the background color to light blue. It must show the sun after five seconds. We know it's about 12 hours more or less before the sun comes up. So here we are simulating, but in five seconds would be like 12 hours in the world. I'm going to just come and help you in a minute, but you need to first timer. And remember it says show the sun after five seconds. So I'm going to go up with this green arrow that's pointing up. Green arrow pointing down. So I'm going to go with up, three, four. The numbers are going up, five. After five seconds it says Shows the sun. I'm going to show what? The sun. So I'm going to remember it's in the timer block. The five seconds afterwards, the sun must be shown. So there, show the sun. Look, it says and. So I must do and changes the background to light blue. So I can't put the background there because if I put the background there, it's going to set the color to light blue. Then it's setting the... When I press this button, it goes into play mode, the back background's light blue. And that's not right. I have to have the background must also be part of the after five seconds code in the after five seconds timer, the timer event. Now let's see if it works. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. And that means that the timer records time. So the second challenge, remember now we've got this code, this is our base, make a timer that hides the sun. Now we all know that that would be night time. After five seconds and changes the background color to black. So look over here, don't get confused, look at the board. After five seconds, this is the daytime. So now the night time comes, but this would be five seconds and then it would be after five seconds, what's this one going to be? Okay, because remember, after five seconds, the sun comes. So if I make this one 10 seconds, then we could have the sun will not hide. It'll hide because it's nighttime. The sun goes away in night. So it'll hide. Look at the hide event. And then the background will not be light blue. Because it will be set the color to black. Let's see. I don't know if that'll work because I've got one, two, three, four, five, and then the sun comes up. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there it's going. It's working. So remember, we have night and day being simulated in the time of each five second interval. In reality, in life, it'll be 12 hours. So here we have a simulation of time we're making time much faster incidentally this gets you to think a lot about what time is really about if you had to see a little ant and he saw a puddle of water he might say it's a big lake but you'll say it's a small puddle there's different understandings of that now this one says help the code monkey to fix the sunset after five seconds five seconds the sun shows that's right and it goes light blue. After 10 seconds, I'm going with up. Then we're going to have the sun must not get bigger. Scale means 
get larger, we have to change that. So you guys are going to have to adapt that to change this scale to be something else. The sun disappears. And then the background color would not be white. You guys know in the night time, the color is going to change not to be white, but it'll be it's night. And this 11 seconds ain't right. It's got to be 10 seconds. Okay, so see if you can do that one. And when you also do these activities, do practice. Now, look over here. Do get used to using this. This is stepping through the code. I'm just showing you something new. Pause. Play. If I pause and I start, look. There it's stopped. I've put what's called a break point on the first block. And then I want to go to the next line. Look at this shoe. I'm going to step to the next line. Next block goes here. 11 seconds. And then I press on this to step through. Look, it's going sun shows. And then the sun shows. And you're stepping through the code. And this, I forgot to mention to you guys, is called the variable watch. Now, a variable is when the computer remembers some bit of information. Look, the sun is at X. That's the X position. And the Y position, the scale, and the speed, all of that's written over here. That's in the variable watch. Good luck with this activity. I must stress one point. Do all the challenges. When you get your five stars, don't think you finish. You still have to make your own. You need to build your own piece to get your reward. Remember, you get a reward if you manage to get everything done. The five stars plus the making of it when you do it your own challenge and you make your own. Good luck with it, grade threes. I'm sure you're going to do a marvelous job being the people you are. A big thank you to everyone for watching this. It is an activity that is somewhat above the normal activity that I do with grade threes. However, the learners got through it in a wonderful and many of them ended up getting to the final challenge. Well done. And a big thank you to everybody who has supported us in whatever way by watching our videos or subscribing to them. We are most appreciate. We appreciate it very, very much.